Hello and welcome to my installation tutorial for real-time high-resolution background matting. This is for Windows only. Today we are going to use this on a NVIDIA's graphic card. So if you don't have NVIDIA's graphic card, I'm not too sure if you can run it because I, I haven't tested myself, but you still can give it a shot. And yeah, so I'll be going through this, how to install this and how to run this easily on um, Anaconda prompt. So if you don't have Anaconda prompt, you can come over to this link. It'll be down in the description. And then you can scroll down and download this window window thing. And then you just install it with everything on default. And after you finish installing it, um, you can just type in Anaconda. And then you want to activate um, Anaconda prompt like this. And next thing is we want to um, download QDAC Toolkit 10.2. And if you already have this or you downloaded it before, um, you don't have to download it. And if you don't have 10.2, um, you have to download it here. It'll basically give you a basic installer and then you just do everything on default. And after you finish downloading this or you you already have it, you can check it at here. Um, C program files, NVIDIA GPU computing toolkit, CUDA, and you see V1 and V2, uh, V10.1 and V10.2. Today we're gonna be using V10.2. So you make sure that you have V10.2. If you don't have one, it's fine. We only using the 10.2 version. So how do you know that you're using the right version? So you want to go to the environment variables, you type ENV and press enter and here. And then once you see QDA path here, underscore QDA path, it's pointing to um, 10.2, then you know that you are using the right version here. This is very important. QDA underscore path and it's pointing at 10.2. And then press okay, okay. And then you can close these windows. So now we will want to download the repository. So you can download zip just like that and then you can download a copy easily from that and now you want to find a file location that you want to install this in so here it will be at my g slash tutorial folder and then we want to paste this drag this file and then unzip it here and after that you will have this um, background matting v2 master you can shorten this to bgm um, bg mat just in case BGM is can stand for other stuff, but okay. Now you can see that you have OD files in here, and you want to go to the repo and then download the model and weights. So you can see that you want to download all three files. I won't be downloading them right now, but you will see how they look like um, in a second. So after you download this, you want to put each folder inside model. Um, I already have one, so I'm gonna just put my local copy here. Oh, their file size are pretty pretty large, so be aware of the file size. And after that, you have um, downloaded these each folders, and has these files in the model file. You can see that it has these. Yeah, and no, uh, and you're all good. So now you go back to the main um, file path here, BG map, and we will want to go to this file destination. So you copy this file path and you type CD space and then paste the file path there. And then it should change the path if you are on C disk. But since I'm on um, G disk on another disk, we have to specify the disk that we are, uh, we need our prompt to be at. So here, after we type in the disk, uh, this will be the right path. And now we want to create the environment and these notes will be down in the description. So you can just copy and paste. So we want to call out create um, dash and BGM mat. So we're creating an environment right now and we want to install the libraries under this environment. And every time we want to use this um, AI again, we can just activate the environment and it has the all the important stuff we need to run basically. So now after that, we want to copy this next line. Um, after we activate it, um, com dot activate bgmat. You can see that it turned from base to bgmat. That means we are in the bg 
map environment, which is the one that we want to be in. And the next one, we want to install PyTorch, which is uh, the Q.10.2 version. And then we want to press enter and then press proceed and then press Y. And then at the meantime, we want to go to requirements and we'll open requirements and we delete these two lines and then save. And then we go out and copy this line, pip install dash r requirements.txt here. Press enter. Okay, now we're done. We can create a folder called input where we can put our um, source video and the background image to do the green screen. So let's just use the default they provided us. Um, so you can see my amazing file naming strategy. This is really bad. And this one is the video. This one is the background. So this one, we let's just call it the source. And this one call it the BG background. This one is the image, right? Yeah, it is. And this one is the source and you can see here. This is the demo they provided us with. You can download the demo here, in these two links, or you can just use yours if you want to use yours. So now we want to modify here. The mode we want to use is called matching refine, which is basically removing the background of the video that has this green background. Ah, uh, it's let's not use green actually. Um, let's use um the uh, the other one since green is a pretty bad idea um because we want to show something other than green screen you know so this is a sky video um let me just check it's 4k okay um src mp4 and this one is the bg okay so yeah the mo uh, the model type is matching we're fine and the model box backbone would be resnet 50. uh if your c computer cannot run resnet 50 you can try um the other one called here it would be here um pytorch here it would be mobile net v2 if you are if your computer cannot run run resnet 50 you can run that that one instead um, sorry, my, my tongue really hurts. The next thing we want to do is um, the checkpoint. So the model checkpoint needs to be according to um, the model backbone. So we're using the ResNet path. This is the checkpoint. So we want to keep this model slash PyTorch slash PyTorch ResNet 50. So you can see here, here, and then it's right here. Okay. Now we specify the path we um, model refine sample pixels. It is suggested for all 4K videos to be around um, 320,000. Um, they use this in uh, uh, underscore right now for for the comma. I'm not too sure why, but they use this underscore for now, which is really weird. Uh, they might change in the future. I'm not too sure. So you have to keep that in mind if you get an error in the future. Um, if it's 4K video source, um, let me get the source here yeah, if it's 4, 4k how do you know it's 4k it's 380 40 20 60 yeah it's suggested to have 320 thousand and if it's just um hd you can just use um 80 thousand and that would be enough but since we're using 4k right now so we're gonna keep it 32 320 thousand and the video source will be the path that points to our source video which is this one dot mp4 and you have to make sure it's dot mp4 too and then the video um background will be this one bg.jpg and actually this one is png so we have to change this to png and the output directory will be dot slash output um so we don't have one it will automatically create one so we can just create run right now because i have to go through something else later and you will see so if you do not have um, auto output file, you, you don't have to create it. It will automatically create one. Um, and the output types here, you can reduce this. This is the composition, the foreground, the alpha, the error, and the reference. And I'll show you what those videos looks like. And if you want to increase the speed of um, rendering, you can just delete everything and leave com only since this one stands for the composition which is the one that removed the background okay so now we want to copy the whole thing and then enter in and then run so now it will tell you that directory slash output already exists so 
I created the file just to show you that we want to um, override <laughs> whatever is in it. So when you when you type in Y here, it doesn't matter if it's capital or um, small, uh, small, um, small, lit small letter. You want to um, save whatever you have before um, inside like outside of this folder or else everything in this folder will be replaced by your new results. So yeah, just a reminder for that. And now we press Y and then we'll start loading. Now we just have to wait. And if you cannot run this, um, it's saying that, oh, FFMPEG is not um, a internal command or an error. That means you don't have um, FFMPEG installed. So you want to go to this link. Uh, it will be down in the description um, and then install FFMPEG. And at the same time, you need to download 7-zip to unzip this file since so you have to download 7 zip i'm sorry i'm making you download quite 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 a few stuff but um after that um you can you copy this basically um wait here let me show you so so you can place it wherever you want and then you copy the file to that directory and then go to bin and copy the file directory here and go to environment and then environment variables, path, and then you press new, and then you paste this uh, file um, directory here, and then you just press okay. And after that, um, you have to restart your Anaconda and activate, starting from this step, Conda activate BGM mat, and you can run this main, main command afterwards since we already have the environment set up. So we don't need to touch this, this, or this. So um, now um, it's, it has gotten stuck. So I pressed enter. Sometimes that happens. So if you encounter this error, that means your FPS are not exact. So you can see it here. Um, the frame rate is 30.05 <laughs> frames per second. So you need to be on a steady frame rate. And if you don't know how to do that, you can use handbrake here and break to convert a video into a steady frame rate not a steady one but like consistent frame rate since this one is slightly different so we cannot use this um example now we need to go back to our green screen one um we change this one to src since that one's p4 and this one to bg and then check the file type it's png okay and check this one, um, MP4 and 30 frames per second. So this one would not have the problem of um, index out range. Um, so yeah, we have to wait another one, but we have to override again and yes. So once it's completed like this, you can find your results at the um, output folder. Now we see um, five kinds. The very first one is the composition, which is supposed to be a clean green screen. So yeah, since the foreground is, um, I mean, the background is a green screen, it makes it harder for you to um, see the difference. So error is the error map. You can see it's around the, the four, it's in between the background and foreground. And here's the alpha map. And here's the reference, I'm guessing. Um, oh no, refined, refined, I think. Refined alpha, uh, yeah. And yeah, that's about it. So um, you can delete um, other four if you don't want to see them or if you just want the composition or just the alpha channel, you can just keep the com and fa. And yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you want to support me, you can support me through Patreon and Go check out my main video if you haven't. Uh, I will see you guys in the next one.